You see, gentlemen? Just like clockwork. <laughs> Boys, I, I don't, I don't want to get shot, but this is a mistake. I work for Cornwall Kerosene and Tar, Mr. Leviticus Cornwall. Oh, great. So you know, who <laughs> doesn't? I hear he's rich enough to share the wealth around and not miss it too much. Oh, he'll miss it. Okay, we're looking good. Must be nearly a thousand here. Shit. Hey! They can say something! Oh, great. Let's go! Arthur, let's go! Yeah! Stay until dark, and then we'll sneak out of here. Charles, you keep watch for now. Sure. Well, we, uh, get some rest. Yeah. All right. <clears throat> Let's try and get out of here. Hey, shit! Absolutely. Shut up, old man. Look, I was just trying to... Shut up. There's a light over by the house. Damn! Get out of here. Get out of here. Let's just keep this calm. See what happens. Is this your place? Kinda. Uh, and you didn't hear nothing? I... I... I why don't you just tell me, partner, what you heard? I, I, tell me what you heard. I don't... Uh, maybe I, I heard some noises out by the barn a while ago. It ain't me. It better not be. All right. Coop forth. Lo, go check out the, the barn. Sir. <clears throat> Place looks deserted enough. 
Sure. You head inside. I'll go around the back. Shooting our way out of here, fellas. You're going to the dog. Where are they all coming from? Looks like Mr. Cornwall is going up to security. We got more of the bastards on this side. Right here! That nearly hit me! Just good 
Out of the way, Bill. We got more of the bastards on this side. This fella really don't like getting <laughs> Let's just hope we don't run out. Miss Cornwall ain't gonna be happy about this. No, not after that business in Valentine. Sons of bitches. How are we gonna find them in this? They can't have gone too far. Last time I'm doing payroll wagon.
well still alive yeah. just about. Yeah, I'll do with you later. We got some money, didn't we? Sure, but now we got corn on our backs. It was an honest mistake. I had to leave it, Quan. Get out of here. Every man split up, Quan. Run quick. Good luck, Jens. Stay quiet and move. one who done this pizza. What the hell? Get off me. I'm worried about this to nobody. You understand me? It's me! Hope you've been good out there. <laughs> you know, when I was a little boy, some men came to my village. They accused five men of spreading rebellion and heresy. Arthur! Yes, kid. You got a lot on? Ah, uh, just hunting for all this hillbilly gold that Dutch and Hosea seem to think is out there just waiting to be stolen. <laughs> Why? I got something. Could be good. Yeah? Yeah, I was in Rhodes talking to some of the colored folk. They said there's a gang of fools holed up in the swamps east of here who think their war ain't never ended. The Civil War? Yeah, apparently it's still raging in these fools' minds 30 years later. Okay. That ain't my point. 
These ignorant fools are weapon dealers. And in their dealings, sometimes sit on a decent pile of cash. Yeah, been selling weapons to Cuba and South America for years. Anyway, the old boy I was talking to reckon there might be a bunch of cash just sitting around. And failing that, maybe a nice stash of weapons. It's just a bunch of crazies, Gardner? Exactly. Wow. Worth taking a look at least, isn't it? That was my thinking. Said it was at some place called Shady Bear, deep in the woods. Okay. I was hoping you'd be in. If it's how they told it, it's gonna be something all right. We'll see. You spoke in a Dutch since you got back? Yes, Morgan. Air is cleared. We're moving on. You're lucky he made me come for you. You need help there, old man? Come on, it's this way. On me. You know, I might have met these crazies before. You've been drinking again? No. Well, yes, but no, that's not how I might have met them. I think some of them harangued me and Sadie when we were coming back with supplies. Mrs. Adler? Yeah, and Mrs. Adler did just fine. More than fine, actually. She's terrified. But I got a notion these fellers is one and the same. Yeah, we won't find no shortage of angry Peckerwood idiots in this... Ah! of angry Peckerwood idiots in the state of Lamorne. That's for sure. Is it really that different in this state? We haven't come far. It seems like it is. These boys got a manner about them, but I haven't necessarily noticed. All respect, Mr. Morgan. You wouldn't notice. Might call you a nigger lover. They see us riding like this. But most of it is a, a glance or a word. And after that, a visit in the night. Well, out west is... Out west is out west. And you're all who you are. Uh, decent folks. But some places down here, they judge differently. Well, no. Guess it can't be so easy for you, Lenny. Sorry you're caught up in this. Well, I guess their gold's still shiny. And their guns still shoot. So I'm game for robbing any and every one of these bastards for all they got. <laughs> okay, then. Plus, it beats being lynched back in Blackwater with all of you by my side. I guess it does. Feels like we're close. It's a rundown old plantation house down in the bayou somewhere. Let's take it slow. Be cautious. If, like you say, these crazies are sitting on weapons, we're gonna wanna strategize a little before getting shot at. Of course. They said find the old battlefield. And keep on going. Well, we got some wrecked. Old Civil War weaponry. Now where are the wrecked old Civil War holdouts? See that church up ahead? They're supposed to use it as an outpost. Heard they got men going between here and the big house all day. Okay.
at this field. <laughs> Imagine getting caught up in a fight like this. Yeah, I don't care to. Hold those reins in. Let's just take a look around the place. I hear you. Uh, it doesn't look like anyone's here. We don't know that for sure. Let's have us a nosy. You hear that? Someone's on the track. Look there, the wagon. Let's see where he's going. You're on me now. Right behind you. Let's keep our distance. Just two fellers out on the road. Those crates in the back, they look like it's closest to you? Could be. Worth follow, at least. Hear that? Someone's on the track. 